Hello, I'm Landon Schlungen, and in this video, we're going to go through how to use API data in Svelte. So I have a Svelte application right here, a new one, completely new. It's using Vite and TypeScript, but importing data with API is pretty simple, and that shouldn't really have much of an effect on it. Just any old Svelte app will work for this, I'm pretty sure. So, And we're going to be using this Pokey API. So here, if you just do API slash v2 slash Pokemon, it brings up all the different Pokemon in JSON format. And that's the API I want to hit. So I'm going to copy that and go into VS Code. Right now we have lib with, with counter. I guess I'll just add another page there or a component. I'll add a component. It'll be our all Pokemon that's felt component. And this will have a script tag in it of language TypeScript, language TS, and then inside of here, we're going to do a reactive block. We're going to do promise equals fetch. This is our JavaScript fetch, and then we're going to put in that URL. So then it will fetch from there, and then it will assign it to this promise. And then we're going to use await blocks for this. And what await block will do is it will await the promise. So I can put in my promise here and then it will catch and also some other stuff. Wait, promise, um, then results. So the results will be the results of whatever this promise resolves to. And then we'll have a catch of an error and then it will end our await. So slash await. So that's that. Now we can just add in. So this will be what it will say when it's waiting. So we'll just do div waiting because this is asynchronous it has to fetch it and then it will show so there's that waiting period in there and then we'll do a div and we'll go json dot stringify actually this has to be inside brackets because it's javascript json dot stringify and then we'll put in our results results uh, i'm not sure if that'll work actually but we'll, we'll try it out results null two so that there's spacing. And then if there's an error, we'll just say error. Let's get an error dot message, I think. I think there's a message, possibly. Oh well. Save that. It formats for us because I have the correct extension installed for VS Code. And let's try this out. Let's delete counter. We don't need it. And inside vap.spell, let's delete all of this garbage. And let's just put in our all Pokemon component. And we'll also delete all of the styles, except for the root styles. I'll keep those. All right, save that. npm, npm run dev, and I'm getting a. Oh, it's because I need to remove that. And remove this. Now let's try that again. All right, there we go. It's running. Let's go there, waiting, and we get empty array. Yeah, I kind of thought it wouldn't work, and that is because this actually we have to do a dot then on the promise. To get to get the data so instead of a reactive block here i'm just gonna do a yeah i'm just gonna do a on mount so if you know anything about react there's an on mount type of light cycle hook and that's what this is in, in svelte just on mount then we can just put that in there and let's do let's promise and promise will equal that actually this will be our response const response equals await and this will be asynchronous async and then we'll go const data equals await response dot json so, and that should give us our data i wonder if i can actually just do promise equals response dot json i'm going to try that promise equals response dot json this is going to be a promise of type any so let's try that Let's see if it works now. Yep, there we go. We got all of our data. Sweet. Let's go. Actually, I've never done it this way before, but it seems like it works. I wonder why it didn't format it for us though. Based on that stringify, is it two now? Spacing of two? Oh, no. I thought it would give a, give some good spacing. Value replacer in space. Interesting, but it does waiting, unfind, and then it brings it in. Oh well. So that's cool. We get our different Pokemon here and let's actually display some of Pokemon names. Why don't we do that? So inside of here we're going to do a each block. Each results dot to Pokemon. Let's Pokey. Let's try it. Let's just do an H3 tag of each Pokey. Pokey dot name. Save that. Actually need to just see here. Yeah there's an error. It's results. Okay. Not 
Pokemon, it's results. So results.results. Okay, that did not work either. Let's actually see if we can debug this quick. So there's a index out of bounds error. Results is an array. Those results actually. Yeah, it does do results. Yeah, that's right. But for some reason it does undefined and then it does it. So that might be the problem actually. Yeah. So how do I fix that? I could say if results is not undefined, I can do that. I'm gonna do if results does not equal undefined, then show the stuff. Yeah, let's try that. There we go. So there's our results. It's paginated, so there's only about 20 here. If we wanted to show more, we can do limit of 40 or something. So why not, why not try that? We can do slash Pokemon and do question mark limit equals 40. Save that and then now we should be getting 40 and stuff. So, yep, there's now 40 Pokemon here. That's cool. And okay, maybe there's some other stuff that we can do with this. If we want, we can put this into a store and save it that way. So I'll just quickly make a store file here and we'll do const Pokemon equals of type uh, writable. Writable, it will be in any in any object because, or maybe in any array. So we just put the Pokemon in there. Sure. Uh, equals a writable and it's an empty array to start out with. And maybe instead of doing this, well, we still want to do the promise, but maybe we'll just do the reactive promise again. We'll promise equals this here. Actually, we're going to do a different function. We're going to do fetch Pokemon. Okay, and that's going to be a different function inside store. We'll do const fetch Pokemon. And we got to make sure to export both of these. Export so that we can see them. And then in here, we're going to do our fetch. So we'll just copy this stuff over there. This is kind of the way I like to do it. This will have to be async. And then instead of promise, we're going to do const data equals wait response.json. And then inside of our Pokemon, we're going to do Pokemon.set data.results. Yes, like that. So that should be good. And then inside of all Pokemon, fetch Pokemon, make sure to import that from slash store. And then we can get rid of the on mount and promise. And then we aren't gonna be using results anymore. And instead we're gonna be using that store value. So and we can get rid of this and this as well. Uh, let's actually, we still want the each block though. And then instead of results, this will be Pokemon, Pokemon. And it has to have a dollar sign in front so that it's subscribed to. So let's save that and let's try it out. Let's refresh, import not found, writable. Um, let's see here. It's because the writable has to be of type. So import type writable. And that's why that error throws. Now let's try it again. Get a syntax. Oh, there we go. We got all of them. Heck yeah. Let's go. Nice. So that's a short explanation of how to fetch data, fetch API data with Svelte. It's actually really simple. Uh, I love the await block um, so that we can have a waiting uh, message before it actually gets there. And then I like the dot then results and we can just put our Pokemon into a store and then we have it and then we can use it in any component that we want. And then we also have the, the error catch. If there's an error with the fetching part, then it will display the error. So that's really cool. It's felt. If I refresh, we should see the waiting there. Yep. You see waiting, so that's how we know that that is working perfectly. So if you liked the video, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe and comment. I read all the comments. If you have any questions on this stuff, I'm more than happy to help you. And I will see you later. Okay, thanks. Bye.